I am really amazed how many stupid, really stupid mistakes that you make, YouTube. First you went along with uh, Google Plus. It was annoying, but you know, we, we just, we just went, fuck it, fine, we'll use it. And by use it, we mean not at all. But we'll just pretend that it's not there. Then you went crazy with copyright strikes. Here, there, everywhere, up the wazoo. But this time, no, no, people didn't just roll over and forget about it. Remember the hashtag, where's the fair use? That was fucking everywhere, wasn't it? But it was only then, after godly knows how many people were waving at you. Sending off flares that you decided, you know, maybe we should do something. Very slowly, you gained some of our trust back. But now you've gone and done this. You've changed your terms of service now. And you've pretty much stopped anybody from making money off their own creations. You're fucking retarded. Yeah. I said it. I said it. I don't care. Fuck ass tit bitch. Cunt. Wanker ass munch. Look, oh, I guess now, uh, I guess I can't make an ad revenue off my video now that I said those bad words. Oh my god. Cover your ears, children. Cover your ears. I have committed an obscene crime. You're all gonna become vicious murderers now that I said the word cunt. I did it again. Shit. I don't know if you've like looked at the content that is on your website. You could click on any video that is on your website and all of that bullshit, all of that bullshit there that you've put up that we cannot do is like 95% of your website. How'd that work out? So what, you just, you just gave somebody, some idiot down there at YouTube the, the ideas. Just, you just go, go on ahead and see what you can do. Just kind of being like, hey Frank, yeah. What? We gotta update the terms of services this time. What, what are we gonna do? Michael, I couldn't give a cat's testicle what you do with the terms of services. Uh, that's a bit harsh, man. I mean, we gotta do something, you know. We gotta, gotta keep relevant. I don't know. Just fucking... Give it to Steven. Hey, Steven! Yes? Just go and update the... Terms of services on the on the website. I mean, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't I don't care anymore. Can I ruin people's lives with it? Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Go nuts. I don't care. Oh boy. They finally let me out of the cave. <laughs> so you've pretty much left it to a point where people, you know, they can't swear. Fuck you for that, by the way. No, like nothing vulgar. You can't make any anything sexual. So you can take this and stick it in there, in there. Sir, yeah, right there, get it in, get it in nice and deep, you know what I mean? You can, you can do that. Can't talk about controversial subjects. Well, that's so vague, that could be anything, wouldn't it? It's very rare to find channels out there that don't do anything that you've listed there. Unless it's a fucking Minecraft Let's Play channel, or some channel that's run by some hyper-Christians. You are not going to find channels out there that don't have that kind of content that aren't, you know, like, advertiser friendly. You're just idiots. I'm not at the point where I think maybe I could monetize my videos. I mean, I'm just a fucking small nobody that just does this because I want to. But if I was to ever monetize my videos, now I would have to completely change up everything that I do and you'll start seeing videos something like this. Well, hello there, kiddies and friends. My name is TapChap and welcome to the friend zone. Today we will be reviewing the most child-friendly and fun game in the entire universe. Connect Adventures. It's going to be quite fun. Now hold on there, Tap Chap. Well, that sounds like Mr. Wibbles. Can you see Mr. Wibbles anywhere? Oh, there you are. Hello, Mr. Wibbles. Tap Chap, remember to make sure you tell the kitties at home that they have plenty of space to join in with us. Good idea, Mr. Wibbles. You're such a genius. I know. Friend hug. Now, granted, I make retarded stuff like that all the time. 
But I'd be throwing in some fucking swear words here and there. I'll be making penis jokes. Goddamn, if I want to make fun of weed, I'll do it. But there's people out there making channels like that have made their channels on all of that. In fact, some of them are making a living off of all of their, their, their content. Some of their comedy that stems from, from vulgar language, from, from sexual jokes, from, from drug abuse. I mean, for God's sake, everything, every single thing you've listed there would, would bring down Filthy Frank. Look at any of Filthy Frank's videos and at least one, like, it, it ranges from at least one thing to everything on the list. You have channels like the Angry Video Game Nerd who, like, God, it makes up his own vocabulary of swears. If people lose monetization on these videos, it could ruin their lives. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there could end up homeless because YouTube was their only form of revenue. Some people are doing this full time and solely relying on YouTube to bring in some money so they can live. And what are you doing this bullshit? You're fucking them in the ass! I mean, so far it's not so bad for me. Because like I said, I'm, I'm a small channel. So I don't, I have no need to even monetize my videos because there's no point. But so many channels out there now are going to be in some real trouble. And you're going so far as to like, demonetize videos on depression. The world is becoming so PC that it's even affecting YouTube at this point. You can't breathe on YouTube or anywhere without someone going, I am triggered, your breath smells like tuna fish and I don't like tuna. I mean, you can either do, it's getting to a point where you're gonna either do content for kids or you're gonna be doing something that's so bland and mundane that people aren't even gonna watch it to give people monetization. They're not gonna give them views. I mean, with the way things are, you're gonna have to make a video just even something like, Hello oh, everybody, my name is Richard Bleh. And today I'm going to review the day I had today. Well, I woke up at 8.30. I ate my Weetabix. And then I went outside and I saw a cat climb up a tree to catch some birds. But the birds flew away, so that was okay. So what I did was I got in my 1986 Honda something and I went to the supermarket and I went and I bought bread. And I thought, a dollar eighty-seven for bread? That's ridiculous. So I said, I'll get it anyway because I'm hungry and I want a sandwich. But then I remembered I had forgotten the cheese. So I went, I went and got a cheddar block and uh, I brought the cheddar cheese home after paying for it at that store. And I got inside and I made myself a sandwich. And uh, then I passed out for the rest of the day and I woke up now to tell you the story. So make sure you like, comment, favor, and subscribe to come back and see all the, the greatest the greatest stories from Richard Blay. See you next time. Basically, you're making it so that people can't live or make money off their own creativity. It's coming to a point where it's like, oh you can be creative! But if you want money from us, you've got to stop that. Stop it right now. I mean, how could you have not have just looked at this and just thought, this might be a bad idea. But I don't think even when you come to important things like terms of services, you don't even give it attention in that case. Everything is so automated on your end that there feels like there isn't even a human being involved with YouTube. YouTube has become its own kind of AI. If anyone has a problem on YouTube, it takes weeks, months to get responses, to get videos, you know, have strikes removed. You can't get in contact with anyone on YouTube's end unless you're a huge YouTuber and you've got connections and you've got like sponsors that have direct contact with YouTube. I mean, just a while ago, Bo Boogie had his channel terminated by someone that hacked his account and deleted everything. He got it back, but that's because he was such a big name and he had people that could get in contact with YouTube. If that happened to me or happened to any of my friends that are that don't even have like more than 5,000 subscribers, it would have been tough shit. Our channels would be gone. So it's not even the terms of services alone that are the problem. Just YouTube in general has such 
a flawed system. Copyright strikes run an absolute... It just... It's chaos out there. Anyone, even fucking trolls could go, Hey, I don't like this guy. But let's just pretend I made this video and then I can get him destroyed. <laughs> You've got companies out there that just get a little bit butthurt because you just... You don't agree with the f the the process of how something was done. You d they get offended that you didn't like their film, so then they use the system to take your video down just because, like, that's a bad review. Not on my watch. Anyone, anywhere, from any part of the world can take your video down. And if it doesn't get taken down, they can opt in to start taking even half of the revenue you make. I know they have to make a compromise somewhere, because there could be a legitimate cause here. But a lot of the times, it's companies that you've never even heard of that just pop up from nowhere that's like, I can get me some of that money. I just gotta use the old fashioned bullshit technique. What? What is your major malfunction? I know there are millions of channels out there and it's impossible to keep track of all of them, but it's, you, we get the feeling that you only, like, it's favoritism. You, you protect these huge channels because they bring you, they bring money in for you. But any of the channels that don't have a, have much of a fan base or have a fan base at all, they get completely pushed out to the side or thrown to the gutter because it's like, you're worthless. That's what this whole thing makes us all feel like. 